What up, my people? Welcome to your freaking Flex Friday. All right, so on the Flex Friday, you know how we get down. We hit the guns. You know how we get down. But in the 18-minute segment, I want to make sure that you guys are not just going as fast as you can. Challenge yourself. If you can increase every round, increase the weight a little bit. But also, when we do the two different movements, start with whatever movement you want to start with, but go through that whole movement, which means if it's four uh, rounds of that exercise, don't go from exercise one to exercise two back to exercise one contract that same muscle group and get enough recovery but not too much recovery all right so exercise number one you're gonna need a dumbbell we're going single arm strict press all right so get some great quality warm reps because i don't want you wasting any one of these first four rounds all right so as you get that dumbbell obviously you power clean it keeping your shoulders pinched back squeeze your quadriceps as well as your glutes and then you're locking out controlling that weight up and control that weight down. You're gonna be doing a total of nine, but make sure that bicep should almost be touching that ear as you lock out every single time. You're gonna be doing 12 on the right, and then you're gonna be doing 12 on the left. Take a small break, or a good amount of break, and then you're gonna repeat that again until you get to a total of four rounds. Once you finish rocking that out, you're gonna be doing the same exact thing. We're gonna isolate our bicep by keeping our shoulders pinched back. You're doing the same thing, a bicep curl, making sure those knuckles are facing the opposite way or the fingernails, I should say, controlling that weight up and controlling that weight down. This is not a hammer curl, so don't turn your wrists. Control to 12 reps on your right, 12 reps on your left. Completing that for four rounds as well. Once you complete that, uh, you'll be done, and you'll have a total of 18 minutes. Most people are probably finish about 14 to 16 minutes, but personally, when I do it, I'm gonna really take as much time as I can in my 18-minute uh, segment, because I'm trying to get that gains, which means I need to let my muscle groups recover so I can lift a little bit heavier. Once you complete that, we will go into our conditioning. Our conditioning on this Friday is going to be a little bit more difficult than I usually program, but why not? It's the first day of October, right? So, movement number one, you will need a bumper plate. It's a two minute, 30 second e mom right? But the first 30 seconds of the e mom we all will be doing the same thing, which is going to be an L shaped hold. Grab that bumper plate, legs are locked out, as well as your core being tight, and again, poking your head through that window. Once your coach finishes counting you down from that three, two, one, your 30 seconds will be completed. And then you would go to the second movement, which would be a jump rope. If you jump rope, if you're a double under person, great. I want you doing 30 double unders. If you're not there yet, we're going to be doing 50, double, uh, 50 singles. So again, we all know how to jump rope. You're going to be doing double unders. Again, you need to get to the people out. Okay. You're not at the double unders. We all know what the singles look like. Hit those 50 singles, right? Once you complete that, <clears throat> for the rest of the time, we're going to be doing dumbbell snatches. But when I say for the rest of the time, it's not to the two minute 30 seconds, because your coach is gonna be cutting you off at the two minute mark. So grabbing that dumbbell, right, shoulders pinched back, tapping that ground, keep it in your body, lock it out, you can control and switch it at the bottom, or you can switch up top, it's totally up to you, but you gotta do that continuously until you get to the two minute mark. So as this, work our way up to our 15 minute mark, you would notice that your goal is to get to the dumbbell as fast as possible. But man, be consistent. Use weight, that's really challenging, but I want you to count your reps. Because whatever you get in the first round, say you did, I don't know, 12, or when you try to get 12, at least every single round. And if you go hard, it should be very challenging. That's gonna be your Flex Friday workout. Hey guys, if you haven't already, make sure you share that promo link for us as we continue to grow. It means the world to us. Other than that, take a selfie, let us know what you thought of your workout. Take care.